Hi, how's everybody doing today? Uh, Clint, the audio guy here. I just want to give you a quick rundown of our system here at Extend Technologies in the Hi-Fi room. Uh, we've got two standalone systems here. Um, we're running dedicated 20 amp circuits to each of them. Uh, that's the least expensive upgrade I think you can do uh, in uh, in audio. You know, a couple hundred dollars for your electrician and run a dedicated 20 amp line to your stereo. You're going to get better dynamics, better noise floor, better everything, really. Uh, so uh, that's not even the tax on one component. So it's definitely worthwhile doing. Uh, anyway, start with this system here. We've got the Clear Audio Concept Turntable. This is Clear Audio's entry level point. Um, you have a Delrin platter. Uh, you've got a knob that gives you 33, 45, and 78. That's pretty unique in the industry. Uh, bronze and Teflon bearing. And then you've got the uh, tone arm that's floating on a magnet. Uh, we go down to the Sony ES Music Server, the uh, HAP Z1 ES. Uh, it's got a terabyte of storage, sounds really good, really nice DAC built in, and it plays all the high res files uh, with app control. Underneath it, we've got the Mark Levinson uh, number 523 preamp. Uh, this is a high end preamplifier that sounds really, really good. It's Great sound staging, uh, great dynamics, super low noise floor. So everything you want to preamp to do. Under it, we've got the Furman IT Reference 15 uh, power conditioner. It's a heavy duty conditioner. It's got really good filtration um, and just nice clean power to everything in, in the system. Uh, below it, we're, we're featuring the uh, Mark Levinson number 534. This is a stereo 250 watt per channel amplifier. Uh, high-end piece and it sounds really good. We've got it paired with the Levinson preamp and we're powering the uh, reference uh, Revel Ultima Salon 2's. So the speaker here, the Salon 2 has a beryllium tweeter and then titanium drivers with uh, neodymium magnet structures and the whole speaker is sculpted so there's no parallel surfaces inside the cabinet, uh, no standing waves. Um, and it outputs dynamics and bass response that's pretty incredible. These will go up against speakers that are a lot more expensive than these ones. Uh, the rack we're using here is uh, Salamander's uh, Archetype rack. Uh, it's got the threaded rod system, so the shelves are infinitely adjustable. It'll hold a lot of weight, um, but this is the walnut finish here. And then the cables in the back we've got are AudioQuest cables uh, for the whole system there. Uh, in this system, we're featuring the MT5 turntable uh, from Macintosh, which is actually part made by Clear Audio, um, but they're using a, a acrylic platter. Um, they've got a Blue Point number two cartridge. Um, uh, the glass faceplate and all the uh, backlit uh, illuminated uh, buttons, like the whole Macintosh line. Uh, one of their policies is that when you shut the lights off, everything's still usable. You can control everything in the dark. You don't have to turn the lights on to, to make an adjustment. Uh, this platter is floating on a magnetic bearing, uh, so it eliminates vibration coming from the turntable or the room. Uh, very nice turntable. Uh, one thing that's nice about the MT5, too, is it comes with a record clamp as well as an acrylic dust cover, which I have sitting over there. Uh, the acrylic dust covers, you know, most people don't think about it, but if you want a dust cover for the clear audio, it's a $300 piece. So, and most of them are $300 and up uh, for, for dust covers. So, them including that and uh, the clamp accessory, that's pretty nice because it's a complete package. Uh, under it, we have the uh, MAC 7200 stereo receiver, awesome receiver. If you want to get into the full Monty of Macintosh, uh, this is the first piece that does it. So you've got power guard, you've got the auto former transformers. So you get all the power you paid for no matter what impedance your speaker is. Um, you've got a phono stage with adjustable cartridge loading. You've got a nice headphone circuit in it with the crossfeed output. Um, lots of power, lots of dynamics, um, all in one chassis. And then you've got a really nice built-in DAC that's using eight DAC chips, uh, four per channel, 32-bit um, uh, uh, DAC chips, that is, uh, to give you basically bit-perfect output, bit-perfect conversion. Uh, that 
That receiver is powering the uh, Totem uh, Tribe Tower. This is uh, Totem's slimmest, uh, uh, or only Tribe Tower, but uh, narrowest speaker on top, even narrower than the Arrow. That's using two four-inch torrent woofers. This is the most overbuilt four-inch woofer in the industry. Uh, this thing's a tank. We have one. Uh, we have a, one up front to show customers, but it's it's like a solid piece of iron. It feels like, but uh, it's machined aluminum that's using a real heavy-duty magnet motor structure on it. Uh, silk dome tweeter, and uh, they sound great. They sound stage amazingly. They have dynamics that you wouldn't think of for this size. Uh, the rack we're using here is uh, Salamander Synergy series with the Saturn wheels uh, and uh, those shelves are infinitely adjustable. This is what they call a core module so it doesn't have sides or the front but you can get this in a cabinet as well with a door. Uh, there's drawers, media drawers available for it. Um, all sorts of options with this one. Uh, this one is the 31 inch high with Salamander you can get it one high, two high, or three high, so this is three high, or you can get it four high, and that's a taller piece. Then you can go one wide, two wide, three wide, or four wide, too. So this can be configured any way you could possibly use it. But uh, if you want to hear this or any of the pieces in the system, feel free to stop by Extend Technologies, ask for Clint the Audio Guy, and I'll be happy to play it for you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Happy listening.